Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you all how to increase your overall FPS and remove any stuttering you might have on Arma 3. So to start off, we're going to be in the Arma 3 launcher and you're just going to want to go to parameters and then all parameters up on the right here and you're going to scroll down to the advanced section. Here, you're going to set your CPU count, so that's how many cores your CPU has. Mine has six, so that's why mine says six right here. Um, for any CPU, you just want to enable all of these right here. And then if you have hyper-threading, which uh, how you check that is if you have twice the amount of threads, then you have cores. Um, that is hyper threading. You have you'll have hyper threading, so you want to enable that if you do. Um, you can set memory limits here if you want, but I personally just don't mess with that. So my PC wouldn't let me screen record File Explorer, so it's just going to be on my phone for now. Um, next thing you're going to do is pull up File Explorer, and you're going to go to Documents, Arma Three. And you're going to find the CFG file for Arma 3, which is your config file. And you're going to open it with Notepad. Once you do that, you'll see the screen right here. And there's three things you want to change in here. One is the refresh line right here. Um, you want this to match the hertz of your monitor. So I have a 60 hertz monitor, so I set mine to 60. Then you're going to want to change your GPU max frames ahead and your GPU detected frames ahead. You want to set both of those to 1. The values will be pretty high for the frames ahead. You just want to put it all the way down to 1, um, both of them. And uh, that's for the config file. So once you're done doing all those settings in File Explorer with the uh, config file, and the launcher of the game, uh, you're just going to load up Arma 3, go to Options and Video, and we'll start here. So sampling, you just want to leave at 100 because if you make it any lower, the game will be blurry. If you turn it up any higher, you're going to lose a bunch of F F FPS for no reason. So just keep it at 100. Um, textures. Um, for this, it kind of depends on how much VRAM you have on your GPU. Um, I'd say the general rule of thumb is if you have 3 gigabytes or less of VRAM, uh, use like high or very high. And if you have 4 gigabytes of VRAM or more, use ultra. Um, for objects, uh, I'd say use standard for the 3 gigabytes and less of VRAM and then high or very high, whatever you want to do for uh, four gigabytes or more. I just have mine set to high. Terrain, uh, just put it on standard unless you really care about grass. I don't really care about it, so I just put it on standard. Um, shadows, just leave on standard. There's no visual difference between standard and ultra shadows, at least not to me. Um, particles, I have on standard. Clouds, I have on very high, doesn't really matter. Um, just don't set them to standard or low because they look really crappy. PIP, I have set to standard. For visibility, you don't really need to have this high at all because you're not going to be looking that far anyways for enemies. So it, it's fine right here with these values. For lighting, I have HDR set to standard. Dynamic lights, I have set to high, uh, just so they look a little bit better. Um, water reflection, you can set to standard because there's really no visual difference between standard and very high. Uh, now going to display. Um, always run the game at 1080p. Don't go any higher, don't go any lower. Just stick with 1080p, trust me. Uh, V-Sync, have this disabled. This will save you a lot of FPS and stuttering. V-Sync in this game sucks. Um, now on to the post-processing settings. Um, bloom and Sharpen filter you can leave at 100. These don't really take FPS away and they make the game look better. 
but for the radio blur, rotation blur, and depth of field, you definitely want to have those set to zero because they just make the game look blurry and that's not good. So for the AO, um, I just have mine on standard. Uh, caustics doesn't cost you any uh, FPS, so just leave that enabled. Um, FSAA, this is another big FPS dropper in this game. Disable this, because even two times will just tank your FPS and it's not good. PPAA, I've just set on FXAA standard, because there's no real difference between any of these. Um, and filtering, I just have set on ultra because that doesn't really take any FPS away at all either. So that's it for the uh, video, guys. I hope this helped you guys out. Another big tip I'll give you guys at the end here is install the game on an SSD. Um, if you have the game on a hard drive, you might notice a lot of stuttering, like really, really bad stuttering. And that's because this game just does not run well on hard drives. So trust me, put it on an SSD and you will have zero stuttering whatsoever. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.